Hey everybody. Okay. So this is going to be super quick. I've got to run errands today um, because I keep putting it off because I hate running errands. It's so stupid. Um, I wish that I could like, sorry, my legs itching. I wish I could pay somebody to run errands for me um, and just be like, here, here's what I want. Here's the money. Go do it. Um, although when I go to Target, I like to look. So it's kind of a catch 22. And today I'm going to look for gifts for y'all. Um, Jennifer and Brooke, I have not forgotten. Your gifts are laying right here. I just need something to put them in so that I can mail them. I got them all together and then realized I had nothing to put them in, so I haven't forgotten. Okay, so really quickly, I want to talk to you about something today. Y'all have glasses and all today. I should take these off because I don't need them to see you. Um, let's make it a glare on my face. Okay, so really quickly, I want to talk to y'all about something I posted the other day, and I want you to really think about it. The reason I'm talking to you about this is because I see a lot of you not showing up anymore. We're about three or four weeks into this and life gets busy and things happen and you forget to make yourself a priority and that's not okay because if you're forgetting now, you're going to forget six months from now. So I want you to remember that you have to change not only your mindset, but how you talk to yourself. So remember when I told you the other day that I chose to not use the word can't anymore because my kids were picking up on it and I don't want my kids to say I can't do that. So let me tell you a little story really quickly um, why this really, really hits home for me this weekend. Um, so Kendall got hurt at her gymnastics meet the other day. For a second event, she's tumbling on the floor doing her punch front, which is where you flip and land really hard. Um, and it hurts her knees. But usually she pushes past it. We give her Advil. We do what we can. But gymnastics is just a tough sport. It just hurts. It is what it is. Um, so she hurt her knee though. And I could tell, and of course, when you're at a meet, you can't go out there to your kids. So I'm standing there watching. She's crying. Her coach comes to me. She's hurt her knee. And I said, okay, let's tape it. Let's ice it. Here's some Advil. We're going to see what happens. Cause she was in the rotation at the end of the rotation and had like 10 kids in front of her. So I was like, let's ice it. See what happens. She kept crying, kept crying. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So finally they let her come talk to me because, um, you're not allowed to go on the floor and the kids aren't allowed to come off. But she was hurt enough and, and wanted to scratch the event, which means you get a zero. Okay, that's like not doing your test. You just sit there and don't do the test. That's not okay with us in our house. So our philosophy is you show up, you do the best you can, and no one can ask any more of you. So um, that's what we do every day. I may not always um, get everything done, but I do the best I can every day. And what I don't get done gets done the next day. First thing I have a to-do list that stays by my computer and I try to mark things off or whatever I'm doing. Um, so the same thing goes for our kids too. So back to my story, she comes to me, she's boohooing like, but I can tell, and you know, if, if you're a mom, the difference in a hurt cry a nervous cry, or just an unsure. So this was not a hurt cry. This was, I'm a little scared because I've never hurt my knee like this before. Mackenzie has hurts all the time. Kendall does not. Kendall's new to the to the hurts uh, because she's new into big tumbling. So next year, she'll be into big tumbling just like her sister and everything's going to hurt all the time. Hello, Epsom salt. You are my friend. I mean, that's just what it is. So um, uh, go hard or go home. That's my other philosophy. So um, what I uh, told her was, okay, first of all, we're not scratching this event. We are going to go out there and do our best. Mommy is not upset with you if you can't do your big tumbling. It's okay. Um, I said, we're going to ice it for the remainder of the floor routines. You're going to go do one back handspring if you can do it. You're going to go do a cartwheel or whatever your next tumble pass is because the way competitions work, you have to have two tumble passes um, to get the credit that you need. They don't care about the dancey part. They want to see the skills you can do. But there's certain level skills you can do to get credit for. So I said, lower your skills. I don't care. What's important to mommy and daddy right now is one, you are not hurt. You're just a little injured, like nothing's broken, nothing's sticking out, nothing's, it's not swelling, all that kind of stuff. And two, um, you're going to go give it your all. You're not letting your team down by quitting because of this. So, and you also have to know as a mom, and y'all know this too, when your kid is truly hurt and when your kid is just afraid hurt. So she was afraid hurt. This was a new hurt for her. So her coach is beyond fantastic. 
beyond. I love this woman. And she's like, I'll tape it. We've already given her Advil. We're going to ice it until it's her turn. And she's just going to give it her all. Okay. So she did. She went out there and she did the best she could on the floor. And she got a 7.9. My girls usually get high eights to mid nines on the floor which is irrelevant to me at this point. Like, I don't care what score she gets. She went out there for her team. She did her best with an injury and still got a score that was acceptable. It wasn't below. It wasn't a zero. She tried, and that's all that we cared about. So she comes off the floor, and she's doing this, and I'm doing this because I'm behind the rope, and she's good. Like, she knows mommy is okay. Daddy is okay. It's going to be all right. Moral of this story, she finishes this competition and she gets second on bars. Now, bars is the last event. Her leg is still hurting. She has done vault in between and didn't get a great score. She got like a mid eight. Same thing on vault. I mean, on bars. Um, she modified during practice her dismount and then she got out there and she did the best she could with a bent knee that is now swollen. Um, that is hurting a little bit. We think she just hyperextended it. But today's Wednesday and she's okay. She jumped around on it Monday with a brace on and it's completely fine. So um, all of that to say, um, you give it your best. You make the time for you. And let me tell you the biggest thing that came out of that day for Kendall and for us was one, we were proud of her for giving her best. She did the best she could in the situation she was given. But second of all, she was proud of herself for finishing that meet. She said, mommy, I'm so happy I stayed because she ended up getting ninth all around. No, that's not great. But she was happy that she showed up for her team. She stayed out there for her team and she did a good job. So all of uh, what I want to get across to you today is life it, life happens for everybody. Everybody has busy days. Everybody has things that happen. Everybody has kids who get sick, who get busy, who have sports, who you have crap going on in your family. Um, whatever it is, um, life is busy, period. I don't care who you are. It's busy. If you have kids, if you don't have kids, there's a lady on here who's McKenzie's uh, fifth grade teacher. She doesn't have kids, but my gosh, she is the busiest non-kid having person I know. Show up for you. Don't show up for me. Don't show up for your family. Don't show up for anyone else. Because at the end of the day, you have to look at you and be proud. You don't care what anyone else thinks. Because if you're proud, it's going to show and everyone else is going to be proud of you. So I show up for me every day. I have said a hundred times, I don't need these accountability groups for me I need them because I love you. I love what you bring to the table. I love showing up for you. But I'm still proud of me at the end of the day because I showed up for me. I feel good when I show up. Does that make sense? I don't mean that I don't need you because I love having y'all in here. Don't get me wrong. Checking in on you every morning and hearing your wins every night and the things that you're progressing towards. And on Saturday when we have our check-in, my heart overflows for you because of what you're doing and because you're showing up. That is the biggest step in life is showing up. So set big goals. Change your mindset. Change your verbiage that you use for yourself. It's not, I can't work out today. It's, it's not a priority to work out today. That's a slap in the face, huh? When you say it's not a priority to take care of me, but it's a priority to run through the drive through for my kids. It's not a priority to make a snack for everybody that's healthy from my house. Um, it is a priority to go get something that I know I shouldn't be having. Or I'm not going to work out today because of this. And I do it too. I'm not picking on anybody. Don't get me wrong. I'm just kind of noticing things. And then we just had a big team call um, last night that kind of put some reality into check. Don't get me wrong. I get fussed at all the time about setting big goals and big dreams. And there's things that, you know, we want to do as a family. John and I talk about all the time wanting to set big goals, um, not only for, for he and I, but for our family and for our kids. I, I haven't told any of y'all this, but we just bought a lake lot in uh, North Carolina. We haven't told anybody, not that it's a secret, but we can't build the house right now. We bought the, we bought the land, but now we're hustling to make more money to build the house that we want because we can build a house, but we want a house that we want. That is a, a, a house that we don't look back and go, golly, I wish we had waited a year and built a better house. Um, it's just going to be a vacation home, but we want a nice vacation home. This is going to be for our whole family, brothers, brother-in-laws, sisters, sister-in-laws, parents, um, you know, because as our parents get older, going out of town all the time is hard. This is only two and a half hours away. So 
Um, and maybe at some point I can do retreats there and things like that where I can take people that doesn't cost anybody anything and shower them with all the love, whoever's on my team. Um, so, you know, we have big goals. I just scratched my face. Sorry. <laughs> um, getting into this talk today. We have big goals for our family. We have big goals that we have set long term. And so, um, so I have to say the same thing to me. Like when I, okay, so I have this little book here that um, is like my goals every day that I have to write down. And I've made a commitment to myself that in, in February, every day I'm going to do that. It sits on my desk, on my calendar. I've made a, um, what I'm going to do each week. How am I going to get new challengers? How am I going to be a better mentor for my coaches? How am I going to be a better leader? Because I can lead you in certain things, but I wasn't born to be like a boss, I'd rather be your mentor. I'd rather help you with your goals, but I don't want to tell you what to do. You have to want to do it. Okay, now I have a hair tickle on me. Like, I am a hot mess today, y'all. Um, so I want to be a mentor for people to help them reach their goals. And so, you know, I was just talking to my mentor, who's my upline coach. I call her my mama coach. Um, she was saying that I was asking her about someone that I want to coach with me and who has this mindset that I can't make that kind of money. Because and there's good money in this, but I can't make that kind of money because I have debt that I'm trying to pay and I have to stay within a certain range of my debt so that I get like help. OK, but why not make enough money to pay that off? It's like people saying I can't pay my house off because I don't have a deduction at the end of the year. Stupid. If someone gave you enough money to pay your house off, would you pay your house off? This girl would, I promise you. So it's a mindset. Everything is a mindset. It's a shift. And that's why I talk about personal development all the time. It's not because I think you need a healthier mind. It's because you have to shift your mind to the goals that you want and the goals that you have set. So for you ladies, all of the goals that you told me about in the beginning of this are goals that you want to achieve at some point. And it could be like we've talked about, teeny, tiny, tiny goals. You know, my goal right now is just to grow my team. I had a big team at the end of last year, and then everybody kind of fell off because of um, financial responsibilities and kids and, you know, different things like that. But um, so my goal is to grow my team again. My goal is to be a better mentor. My goal is to be able to spend more time with my kids. Excuse me, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, everybody has goals. And so I just wanted to talk to you today about change your mindset, change your verbiage that you say to yourself. You don't have to tell anybody it's not a priority today, but when you think in your head, hmm, could I go work out or could I sit here and play on Facebook? Could I go for a walk when it's really nice outside or could I clean my house? Okay, I promise you your housework is going to be there tonight. Mine always is. If there was a magic fairy who could take my laundry away, believe me. Wand Central. I would totally do that. I have a bed full of laundry. So do you know what I'm going to do this afternoon? Drop my kids off at gymnastics, go for a run because I want to go for a run. And then I'm going to come home and do laundry while I listen to my personal development on my phone because I have a new book I want to listen to. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. Put my headphones in, stick my phone in my pocket, and off I go. When I sit and work, I listen to training videos on my iPad next to me. Right here. It never leaves my side. It stays here all day and then it goes upstairs with me at night and charges and then it comes back down here for the same thing every day. So um, so I want you to set big goals for yourself and don't fall off of this journey. This journey is a long one. You have to see it as a marathon. It's not a sprint. It is not a quick fix. It is not a magic pill. It is a long-term goal to get you to a healthier self, to get you to a better self, and be the person you're confident with on the inside. Because on the outside, it doesn't matter. Everything you do on the inside reflects on the outside. I promise you. I have been there. I have. I don't know if y'all watched my What is Coaching call yesterday, and I'll post it in here just so you can hear it. Not because I want you to hear about coaching, because I want you to hear about my story and why I started this and why this is so important to me. It has nothing to do with a monetary gain at all. It has nothing to do with how much money I could make. That's all icing on the cake. It has everything to do with I want other people to feel and get to where I am today from where I started. I didn't grow up a healthy, thin, workout kind of person when I was a kid. Not at all. I showed you all my picture the other day, and I've said this a hundred times. Um, I've had many obstacles along the way. Y'all all know I've had a health 
um, problem. Um, right now I've had either staff or shingles on the back of my leg for eight days. And do you know what? I've worked out every single day. Um, it's killing me right now. And I'm luckily hoping to go get my antibiotics so it can go away. I don't know what it is and I don't really care. I just want it gone because it hurts. But I have still showed up every day for myself. Have I modified a little bit? Yes, because it hurts to bend my leg. It's on the crease of my leg. But um, I have had 11 feet surgeries. I have toes that are sewed together and do not move. I have scars all over my feet. Five on one foot, five surgeries on one foot, six on the other. Um, it, everybody has an excuse. I promise you, everybody has an excuse. Don't let yours be the reason why you don't hit your goals. Um, push past your excuses, push past your problems, push past your whatever, because in the end, you're going to be better. So I heard this this um, statement today, and this is going to be my hashtag, lean in, lean into whatever is going on with you, lean into your family, lean into your goals, lean into your journey, and I promise you, you'll come out better on the other side. So I hope you all have a great Wednesday. Um, please know I'm not fussing at you. This all comes from the deepest part of my heart because I love you. I love that you're on this journey with me. I love that I get to watch you show up every day. You're going to make me cry and I don't cry about anything. I'm not a crier. Um, but I love to see your transformation every day because it makes me happy that you're getting to a goal that you want to achieve. And I get to be witness to that. Not that I get to help you or that I get to be a part of it. I get to be witness and I get to cheer you on. I am your cheerleader every day of your life. And I want you to know that if you need anything, if there is something that you're not getting from this, I want you to tell me there's nothing you can say that's going to hurt my feelings besides maybe what Mackenzie said yesterday, but really it didn't hurt my feelings. And you'll hear about that in my video because I tell everybody what she said to me. Um, I have big shoulders. I have thick skin. I'm a very honest person, but I'm a very genuine person. And so when I tell you all these things, it's because I love you and I love to see where you have come um, or where you are from where you started three or four weeks ago. You all have made huge strides and I want you to continue to do that. I want you to continue to run this race with me. So. Have an awesome Wednesday. Read your PD, love on yourself, and change your verbiage. It's not I can't. It's not a priority right now. When you say that to yourself, then you find a way to hit those goals. So I love you all. I'm super proud of you. And uh, let's keep on this journey together. I'll see you all later.